It's good. Okay. Uh, so, hello, it's Simon, and um, I'm with Benoit, and this is for uh, the Clavier Project, and we're going to be speaking about going to Poland. So, Benoit, yes. um, last year, as part of your uh, English classes, you worked with people from Poland. Can you explain to me, had you ever been to Poland before? No, I never uh, went to Poland before. Mm -hmm. I just know Cuba, mm -hmm. Jacob, in French. Uh, it's my correspondent. Mm -hmm. And uh, he invited, to, uh, invited me to go in Poland. So you met him in Clermont-Ferrand? Yes, the first time, but it's not my first correspondent. Uh -huh. My first correspondent is Daniel, mm -hmm. another people, but uh, he, he can't uh, host me uh, in Poland. Okay. So, um, can you speak a little to us about your experience of the Polish in Clermont Film? In Clermont I Polish correspondent, and after we we did uh, some things, some different things like uh, the kind of window uh, visiting the city Clermont-Ferrand and uh, different things uh, like uh, a little party with a Polish correspondent and a Polish Okay, and you had a good time? Yes, really good time. And did you just speak English? Well, I speak a lot of English. Mm -hmm. I learned uh, some, uh, some Polish uh, words. Mm -hmm. Can you remember some Polish? No, I don't remember. <laughs> It's too difficult. Okay. And uh, I speak uh, with uh, Anya, a Polish correspondent. I speak French because uh, she learned French. And uh, she's an English professor. She, she helped me to, to improve my English and I help her to improve his, uh, her English. Her French? Her uh, French. So. Yeah, okay. So that was a good experience. Yes, uh, very good. I, uh, I met some uh, people uh, really good. And, uh, it's a good experience. So you decided to go to Poland. Was it expensive? No, it's not expensive. Uh, the cost is about for the, for the plane. Uh, it's about uh, 80 euros. Mm -hmm. And uh, in uh, Poland, uh, the life is not expensive. In a uh, traditional restaurant, is uh, five euros. Uh, and a uh, very good restaurant, like the, the first night, uh, is uh, the first evening, so is uh, ten, uh, 10 euros. Okay, so it's much cheaper than France. Uh, yes, very much. <laughs> and what about beer? You drink beer, you drink vodka? <laughs> yes, uh, beer is better mm -hmm. because uh, it's uh, less expensive and uh, it's, uh, they, are better, uh, they are better in mouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one pint because in Poland uh, they drink only pint. It's about uh, if I, two, two euros or less, if I remember. And uh, one uh, shot of uh, vodka in the uh, in, uh, in night club. In night club. It's uh, one euro. And uh, the, the shot is uh, really uh, it's too big than in France. It's much bigger than yes. in France. <laughs> there are about five, five uh, centimeters, mm -hmm. and in France it's 2.5 centimeters. Okay, so it's double yes, it's the double. size. Okay. Yes. And can you uh, talk about Krakow a little? Did you like Krakow? Yes, I like because it's. Uh, 
Old City. Uh, in the center there is the Old City uh, with a castle, a uh, lot of uh, old things. And uh, around the Old City is the Normal City. It's uh, like uh, France. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of uh, water. Water? There's a lot of water? No, no, quarters. A uh, lot of different quarters, yeah? Yes, a lot of different quarters. <laughs> and uh, my correspondent lives in, uh, in uh, uh, Judaic. The Jewish quarter? The, the Jewish uh, quarter. Mm -hmm. Was that interesting for you? Yes, because I don't know Jewish. But uh, it's interesting. Uh, we, I eat. Uh, I eat. You ate. Hmm? You ate some uh, different uh, food, and uh, I discovered uh, a lot of things. And what other visits did you do? Uh, I do a lot of visits. I do uh, the visit of Coco. And, uh, it's, uh, the center. I do salt mine and. Uh, Auschwitz, Mirkenhaus, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, the concentration camp? Concentration camp. And what was your impression about the visits? The visit? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's too difficult. And uh, when I return in French, I talk about uh, France. Uh, I, I did uh, Hans time, Hans. Uh, the visit, but uh, it's uh, last time. You would not do it again? No. Okay. So it was shocking? Yes, uh, the, the, we can say in the museum, uh, I'm shocking by the uh, different things uh, we, we have looked uh, uh, So with your correspondents in Poland, would you say now they are your friends? Sorry? Are they your friends now? Yes. I, uh, Kuba is not uh, an adept of Facebook and it's difficult to talk with, uh, with Kuba. Mm -hmm. But I have some news uh, with uh, Anya. Mm -hmm. Every, I don't know, every two or three months. Okay. And uh, we want to, uh, to return, uh, to come back in Poland. Uh, Another time so to visit uh, the, our group of correspondents. So, would you recommend other students to do uh, this? Yes, I Because it's a good treat and yes, it's good. What would you say in terms of budget? How much money do they need for one week in Poland? For one week, uh, the planes. Uh, 80 euros. Uh, the, the food, um, I don't know, maybe 10 euros per day. Uh, per day? For, for a day. Mm -hmm. um, the visit is, uh, I don't know, I don't, maybe 60 euros. I don't know. And uh, for. Uh, for uh, I can say souvenirs. Souvenirs? Souvenirs. For souvenirs, uh, it depends uh, on each person. Okay, so we're talking about 150, 200, 300 euros? Yes, uh, we, uh, 300 euros for one week? Yes. Okay. Right, thank you very much, Bernard. You're welcome.